Hello everyone, welcome to the PD. So I'm I'm gonna be doing a bit of a reaction video to of a new trailer that came out just uh, 30 minutes ago for uh, the new Zelda game, Tears of a Kingdom, which is I wonder what that name means. But let's uh, let's take a gander at this beautiful thing. So I'm 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 curious, man. What's gonna happen? All right, what kind of cool stuff can we do in this new game? Look at those lizard things. Okay. That's kind of ominous. But what's going on with the towers? Those are towers in the... the unlock towers. Mining. Well, the Zolfos are like... Rise, my servants. Sweep over Hyrule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Leave no survivors! Okay. Okay, hold on a sec. I just wanted to point something out here that I noticed. Uh, where is it? So, I'm just going to go play-by-play uh, play here. So, what's with the spotlights? Are those the towers that we unlocked in Breath of the Wild? And also, what's this thing over here? A lightning strike, cool. Um, is that like the... What is that? That looks kind of like some. That looks like something from Twilight Princess. And um, something else I noticed. Okay, those guys are mining. The Lizalfos are red. I thought that was a Bokoblin over here, but that's a that's a reddy, red, greeny, like malice. He looks like a like a chicken nugget with like a blood clot. You ever get those? Don't eat them. I think I think they kill you. But yeah, he's he's all like malice. Everybody's been dunked in the mal malice juice over there. And they're What does it mean? Probably means they're more powerful. Rise, rise my Okay. And then another thing I noticed, what's this flamey thing over here? Is that just a bunch of torches or is that like a dragon? That looks like a dragon. Or, uh, you know, the the uh, Legend of Zelda fan that I am. That kind of looks like a Dodongo. And that would be cool to fight. We didn't get to get the pleasure of seeing those this uh, in Breath of the Wild. So maybe that'll be a thing. And uh, there's also another Zonai Swirly that they're... Rule. Eliminate this kingdom and her allies. Now, is it a blood moon every night, or is it just this night for the for the effects of the trailer? Juice. So everybody gets a bonus. Okay. They all get horns. That's pretty cool. Okay, so what's the deal with this thing? Where is this? This looks like uh, Kakariko Village or something or Yiga, but uh, I think it's I think it's uh, not Gerudo, uh, Yiga or or uh, what's the other name? I keep saying Gerudo. Holy shit! There's the the. The chubby boy from uh, what's it called? From Wind Waker, made a made a guest appearance, and everybody's got horns. Do you get to wait? You get to ride Epona. Stack attacka. But Link, I am not sure you'll be able to stop him. Oh, that's cool. 
Okay, he's got like a demon fist. Let's ride a car. It's just like uh, Banjo Kazooie, nuts and bolts. Get to fly. Oh wow, that sounds like. Oh man, that's Please, epic. Please lend him your power. Oh shit. That's cool. <laughs> I'm excited for that. So uh, I, I guess I'm... Oh, there's... Okay, Zelda's lullaby in there. So wait a minute. This part... This needs to be flipped around to see what that is. In, in its actual audio. Because I'm curious about that. that. This is giving me Twilight Princess vibes. It's uh, the stuff in the sky. Obviously... Skyward Sword vibes. There's a little bit of Wind Waker with the with the chubby boy over there, and also there's Gerudo, or Gerudo. There's a uh, Ganondorf. You know, I was thinking about this earlier. You know, I I sometimes wonder like, what happens? Like, what if after all of this, they like Link and Zelda find a way to get all that demise juice? all that malice out of out of Ganondorf because like they tried I guess this is like their 10,000 year attempt of sealing away the evils that is uh, Ganondorf and the the reincarnation cycle and all that because it's in the lore where like you know the only male is the bad guy every time right you know <laughs> how many Zelda games do we have to play to in order to understand that now I'm wondering what if this is, like, what if you take all the juice out, who does he become? Is he still Ganondorf? My theory, and this is a theory that I haven't seen yet, is that if they successfully take all of that demise juice, all of that malice out, it's going to be Groose. He's going to turn into Groose. Because who was the only guy who's had the uh, red hair from Skyward Sword? Groose. And I would love that. As a trio, Zelda, Link, Groose. And we get to hear his theme song. He got his own theme song. I shit you not, folks. He's going to get some representation. Everybody loved Groose. And I would love to see him. I mean, a lot of Western fans probably wouldn't want to see the goofiness that is Groose. Uh, but I'm, I'm here for it. I would like to see Groose maybe a bit more badass at times. He'll have some character development. That's if they decide to go, to go in that route. But they did release the remake of Skyward Sword, so I wonder if they're prepping newer fans of Zelda to, you know, take gander at uh, the possibilities of, like, maybe they're just kind of warming us up to getting used to the idea of Groose being in the game. That's if they take all that malice juice out of out of Ganondorf right over here maybe just they just continue the reincarnation cycle and uh, you know go back and forth for millennia and all that stuff that demon fist that looks like something from like the the monks like they look all like Link's arm looks all decrepit just like the um, all the different shrines but, I, but my wonder is, like, since he could do all this green energy stuff, which is different from the Sheikah Slate, because, like, he, this is a green aura. Sheikah Slate was more, like, uh, you know, was blue. And, like, it makes me wonder, like, you know, maybe the fans are correct with this being more of, like, a um, Triforce of Courage type of power, whereas Zelda and the Sheikah developed the uh, you know the the technology from the Triforce of Wisdom and also you get cars so it's going to be just like Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts I can't wait that's going to be the highlight everybody's going to drive a car and uh, you know finding gas is going to be difficult in these times with inflation and you get a flying machine it's like a it's a quadcopter they got drones in Zelda 
I, I guess you get Epona too. I, I'm curious to see what the 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 horse god or the horse fairy ha you know has to say about that. The horse god is is Epona, but <laughs> that's from I think that's from Irish folklore. That's where they stole the name from. But all the Bacoblins, Moblins, and uh, they all get hats. That's something else I noticed. They all get hats. And that's worth the game in itself. So I'm definitely going to buy it. I don't know when it comes out. I think it comes out in spring. I don't pay attention to the news at all <laughs> with, with that stuff. Oh, yeah, heat-seeking missiles. Where is it? Yeah. Freaking heat-seeking missiles, yo. So, okay, the, the stuff in the sky is going to be the new shrines, I guess, and that, that'll upgrade your, your hand, and you can do all these cool hand tricks. And there's hot air balloons. Cars. So this is kind of like a steampunk type of thing. You know, wait, this is from the research lab, so they might be... There might be a storyline there with utilizing that, that Zonai um, courage stuff. And that's so cool how, like, this this is, like, s the first part, too. It's, like, what is this, like, underground cavern going to be? Or where is it? Is this a new location or is this under Hyrule? Uh, you know, I, I guess we'll find out when, when it comes to, to B. We'll probably have a bigger map to explore, and I'm for it, folks. I am definitely for it. It's going to be a lot of hours to complete, and I'm never going to speedrun anything like this because it deserves the full shake of, you know, of the storyline. You know, I think it's going to be cool. What are your thoughts, folks? I'm definitely hyped. I don't really get hyped about most things, but this, it's up there. So... Let me know what you think. If you guys like this type of video format and reaction videos, uh, you know, first look types of things, and, and you like me, give me a like and comment and subscribe, as the YouTubers say. Uh, anywho, hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all next time. <laughs> Take care.